<laughs> you just know he's gonna be right here. Say hello. Okay, he's got something to tell y'all. It's his first snow and he's in love. You know what, let's roll some clips, huh? You gotta always be in everything, don't you? So, I missed yesterday's haul, so I'm just gonna combine the two together. It's a pretty big haul. Also, I'm gonna link a video down below for you guys. I talked about it in like a previous Dollar Tree haul where I wanted to go into Dollar Tree and see what I could find where like little um, storage boxes, pouches, like whatever, that you could store any of your like journaling supplies like stickers, you know, scrapbook pieces of paper and stuff like that. Um, so the video I'm linking down below is this channel I watch on YouTube. I absolutely love it. And she has like all of these different, I know, I know, nobody's listening to me, but I'm, I'm just gonna keep going anyway on the off chance you are because like, he's just so cute to look at. But in her video, and if you watch it, you'll see that she just, has all of these different like storage things where she keeps all of her stickers and stuff and it just of course got me thinking what can i find at dollar tree you know so anyways let's jump into the haul of course not everything is for that so um so let's just yeah a uh, couple things for valentine's day i grabbed this really cute balloon this one was like my favorite one like the ready-made balloons um it says i love you and i love the ombre effect of it as well i just think it's really pretty and will look beautiful just whether you're styling it for decor or a gift basket then i picked up these little flamingos which i'd never seen before red flamingos and the pink which is so cute because when they kiss it there's a heart which i thought that was so adorable um i think they would look beautiful in the center of a boxwood wreath those are my favorite so i'll just uh, insert a clip so you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about it's just so pretty i think there's actually words on it but i'm gonna remove mine I don't think they look very good. It's kind of hard to see them. So I'm just gonna peel them off and just keep the, the figures. Then I picked up this wreath right here and I had plans to like show you guys the tutorial, but I didn't end up doing it. So I'm gonna try to do it soon. I saw someone on TikTok and I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. It was actually a guy, like a hairstylist. And he picked one of these up from Dollar Tree. He did this thing, hair wet, and then weaved it through, you know, all the way through until all your hair was basically up, okay? Like the whole thing went to sleep and then the next day, curl. So it's like a heatless curler and it actually worked and I was shook. I wish I would have saved the video, um, but I'm sure if you maybe do some type of like search on TikTok, you'll find it. So I wanted to try that out for myself. All right. All right. I've got everything into some categories. Um, so let's continue on with the Valentine's Day. I found a bunch of new metal items as well, and I thought they were really cute. But I wanted to ask you guys, what would you just keep it metal or would you paint it in any way? Or do you think the intention behind pieces like these are to just kind of like leave them as is because sometimes i'm like are we supposed to further diy galvanized metal i don't know let me know your thoughts but these are the ones that i found the cupcakes cute kiss of course i loved the little envelope so i got two of them i just thought i'm gonna be redoing my tablescape i tried it once i didn't like it for valentine's day so i think these might pop up in the second attempt then i found these galvanized pieces and they are signs kisses 
XOXO what? and hugs. And the best part about them, so if you look closely, there's little punch outs so that if you wanted to like, you know, weave thread through it or whatever and then hang it some type of way, you have the ability to do that, which I thought this bird is trying to come in the house. Aww. Um, so I thought this was cool. Now, I want to point out, before when Dollar Tree was a dollar, um, they did these little word signs, but they did them in like a pack of three. But they were also very small. They're about like half the size of these. So maybe this is part of that dollar twenty-five thing where they're giving us items that are a little bit bigger, which I do appreciate because one of the things about Dollar Tree, you know, when DIYing, you get a lot of smaller products. So, you, you know, making bigger decor, I guess you could say, gets a little tricky. So I love that they're giving us bigger items. Then I found some ribbons. I got two of them. Very pretty, love the lace and the hearts. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, my camera's flipping out with the white, but so pretty. And these are the only ribbons I've found at Dollar Tree for Valentine's Day. I don't know why. And I go to several different stores, so I've been looking for ribbon and just not there. All right, so we got that. Then I found these brand new and I thought they were so cute. Have not seen these before, so this is the first time Dollar Tree's released sticky paper flowers. These are gonna be great for crafting and not just for like, you know, Valentine's Day. So if you're a crafter, you might wanna pick up a set. And then I found these little heart um, pens for DIY, yeah, DIY pens. Love these. The first thing that I thought of with these was to do a closure on my Valentine's Day advent calendar bags. I'll link my video down below and then you'll kind of like see. It's just when I close the bag, I need something to like clip it. So I think these would be perfect. Even though I'm not doing them this year, my daughter's not here, but anyways. Then I found some marshmallows. Go grab these because if you're planning on doing any sort of Valentine's Day like hot cocoa bar or anything, these are going to look cute in a jar, mason jar, just whatever. But they are little marshmallow hearts. Some of them are white marshmallows with a pink center and some of them are pink with a white center. Love those. I think they came out last year with those though. All right, that's it for Valentine's Day. Well, you'll see a couple things later on in a different category, but let's move on to Easter because I've been really waiting. Sorry, Loki's playing by the tripod, so. I've been waiting for Easter to come out. All right, they put out the good old little Easter eggs and I love. I got these two because I wanted you guys to see that up close they are different. So when you're shopping these little eggs, just know that they have a variety of different styles. And these are really cute. I've seen people hang them from like little small branches, style it like in a tear tray. That looks cute. You can DIY them into a garland of sorts and then just add it to like a floral centerpiece. That would be cute. Or just use them as like a vase filler, jar filler. Love those. Um, and then these made my mouth drop. Like go grab these. Cause I've never seen these at Dollar Tree before. And at first I only saw one color and then I found the whole set. And you get two for $1.25. So let me just show you one at a time because it's hard because they kind of like move around. So we've got the pink and then there is an actual like laser cut into them. So it looks really nice. It's not like a painted effect. Although you can see on this one, like they didn't, yeah, the laser didn't, didn't finish. So pay attention to that. Here is the blue set. And the first thing I thought of, honestly, was doing lavender, a garland. First thing that came to my mind, and that's what I wanna do with mine. So I'm basically going to cut off this little string they give, and then I'm gonna add like a twine, and then I'm gonna interchange the colors to make it, you know, yeah. So, so excited for these. I feel like this is gonna be a long video. 
I found some little bunnies. These are gonna be cute for some DIYs. I also found some baby chicks, which are cute. Yeah, these are gonna be so fun for projects and little eggs. Those. And then I found a bigger set um, of bunnies. These are so cute. Um, I would like Mod Podge book pages on these and like do a garland that way and make it look really cute and kind of vintage. Maybe even dye the book pages, you know, in some tea or coffee or whatever, make it look aged and then Mod Podge the page onto the bunny, the chick, that would be cute. Also, while I was at the store, I thought, how cute would it be to take one of these eggs and maybe place a bunny, maybe paint the bunny or something. Cause see, look, it, it fits. What? How cute. And then if you wanted to, you could also turn these, oh my God, into Easter basket tags for like your kids or whatever you're doing. So like maybe paint the bunny, white and then do a black text for each like name and then weave something through here and then tag it to the basket i'm doing that i'm doing that for my niece and my nephew so all right so there's that idea and then oh, these little bunnies are going to sell out immediately i'm telling you right now a dollar 25 and they are absolutely darling and this was all my store had just this one and this guy and that was it because if they had more i would have picked up more because i think these bunnies would look so beautiful with the aesthetic i have because i have a lot of like white beige creams and i just think they're so pretty and i cannot believe they are a dollar tree for the price the dollar 25 i love the ears so cute, I'm gonna be on the hunt because I'm gonna need more of these guys. All right, then I picked up some of the styrofoam clovers for St. Patty's Day. If you watch all my hauls, I mentioned I got the heart versions of these for Valentine's Day. And I said I was gonna string them like all right here. I'm gonna do the same effect with these. So I got four and I will show you guys. Hopefully I'll have the Valentine's Day option available for like Sunday's Dollar Tree haul. That's gonna be my goal. All right, now let me show you guys a couple of random finds, my favorites. I found some bath salts. These were the two. So pretty, love the packaging. Gonna be great for a gift basket or if you're just needing to maybe make some updates or restock, you know, your bathroom. So this one's chamomile, and this one is a clean cotton. So I found those. And you know how Dollar Tree is. They have a ton of other items that fit these things, but I only picked up those. Then I found the bath soak and the avocado oil. I keep picking these things up, but I'm just a shower person. But I'm gonna start like getting into baths and I'm gonna start with with this one right here. Then I picked up some wood glue just to kind of have on hand. I feel like every time I reach for a glue that I need for wood, all I have is like a super glue that's not necessarily for wood. So I just needed that. And then I picked up a package of little to-go band-aids. Could put this in my car. And then I found this little the sweet chaos popcorn bag but this one's a cold stone creamery collab with cake batter look how cute that is it just has a very spring vibe to it so if you're like wanting to maybe do some type of spring basket or care package this could be a cute pickup for that all right now i have some garden stuff so i found the jumbo garden bag which I think Dollar Tree has done before. They don't do it consistently, so that's why sometimes I have a hard time remembering you guys, but I do believe they've done the garden bags before. Here they are, so cute. And then they did more of these like uh, grow your own kits, but I don't think, 
I've ever seen strawberry. So, and the strawberry's cute too. I think it would be sweet for like a Valentine's Day gift basket for somebody older or a spring. And then I also got basil and cherry tomato, but they have a lot more to choose from and they have flowers as well, not just fruits and herbs or whatever. And then the last thing for garden, which this is brand new. I've never seen Dollar Tree do this. It's a bell cloche, cloche, sorry, cloche. What the heck? But cloche, but yeah. And then it has like the ability to let air in. So whether you're closing air out or letting it in. And then you can see on the photo right there, but I don't know, maybe you could DIY with this as well. This part right here is a lot thicker. And then this part you can see, it's very flimsy. I don't, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that, but there it is. All right, now the last category is what I was referencing earlier with that video that I, or that YouTuber I love to watch. And here's what I found that I thought from a Dollar Tree perspective could kind of fit, you know, putting little stickers and papers and things into. So, some tin cans. Obviously these are Valentine's Day, super cute. We have the gnomes, we have the truck, but I could definitely see, you know, putting all those little like items or scissors, and things into these so super cute but also great for you know gift baskets and filling them with candy neighbors friends teachers um then i found hold on let's actually do this set right here um a couple hauls ago i found these and i raved about them and i said i wanted to do like a stony clover dupe to these which here i am i picked up some more so but I wanted to also put them in this category because these little cosmetic bags could be perfect to put all your little stickers and all your little things into as well. I'm actually gonna use mine for like a travel thing. Whenever I get to doing the DIY, I will share it with you guys. So they also make these in like a pink, which I hauled in like my last Dollar Tree haul or before, I'm not sure, but I'm very excited for these. Then I picked up a pencil pouch. This could also be great to store stickers and scrapbook pieces of paper. I love the clear window so that maybe if you have, you know, themes or categories or whatnot, you'll be able to kind of see through. And then this, you know, pretty self-explanatory little acrylic box. And then, you know, you can fit little stickers and washies and things in here and then i was trying to definitely think outside the box with this so i picked up these favor boxes i thought this could be a cute way to like fill it with your little papers and and things with so there's that and then a little index card box i love these anytime i see the yellow top i buy them immediately because they're my favorite they're for my craft room, but I picked up this one because I thought, again, a great little box. And then I found this. I know it doesn't kind of make sense, but if you watch the video, you'll, you'll kind of see. But this is a tech case. Yeah, so I went through the entire store. I was really trying to look at absolutely everything that I could. And I thought, you know, you could fit a couple of cute little little bits in here and this is also new by the way they had different marble options they had more black with white and that one was really pretty i should have got that one so there's that and then i found these little lock tops um these color options are new i think they've done them before but they're kind of releasing them like they're new so these are amazing and these are going to be great and look you get two for a dollar 25 and then they make a bunch of other organization finds that match like each set. And I don't know why, but I'm really digging the gray and the baby pink together. Like that's just been my favorite combo. 
but these would be great too to store all the little things kind of like how she does in the video and then they have this little version i got some for my office if you didn't watch my office makeover I have a bunch of like dollar tree supplies i'll link it down below um but this one's a little bit different because you can kind of see through them but i could definitely see her like using these and like putting all her little stickers and stuff into so that would be great and then i also thought the little wooden diy boxes you know you could just paint it make it your own and then pull it open have all your little your little things so there's that and then i also picked up these which are brand new i think i saw dollar tree post it finally my store had them but what makes these so unique is the fact that dollar tree made the lids one close which is very rare when they do this little feature on a box so big but they also made the lid match look at the handle what this is so exciting and the quality is really good for the price so i got it in green i also got it in the gray and i got it in the pink as well but i did not see this in the coral option so comment let me know is it available in that option but here is the pink which is so cute look at that and you could even use these you know like maybe you need to organize your pictures um all kinds of like things coloring crayons i also forgot two other random things i picked up some washi here's what they look like and then the last thing is just a fastener strip these little velcro i've actually done a lot of like planning diys and stuff with stuff like this so Loki's asleep at my feet and it's so cute but that is going to be it for today's video i know it was a longer one i hope you guys enjoyed i hope i didn't talk your ear off um but i also really hope you liked the concept of the little box ideas compared to the video that i'll link down below for you um but yeah that's it so let's see i will see you guys saturday I'm not sure actually what Saturday's video is going to be. It's either going to be my entryway makeover or it's going to be my closet Shein haul. So actually, I'm going to put two comments down below um, and then just thumbs up which one. And that way I can kind of see the vote. Uh, do you want to see the closet Shein first or the entryway bathroom makeover first? So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.